All right, everyone, it is challenge day. This is gonna be something unique. Wow, we're gonna wake up. Uh, 55 attractions in 16 hours. Doesn't sound that crazy, but it's about seven attractions an hour. There's some ground rules that I put into play to make it a little more challenging. Can't use lightning lane. Um, can only ride the same ride twice, and I can't do it within the same two hour stretch. Uh, also, I can use single rider, but I can only use it one time per attraction. So this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna be moving. I'll give you updates throughout the day. Your heart and imagination can hold. We're gonna start with Big Thunder Mountain. We're gonna head into Fantasyland, hopefully Toontown, Tomorrowland. That is gonna be the first straight shot. Let's see how we do. We gotta get on this quick. We need to get on that first train. And it's not looking too good, actually. Got off to a really bad spot. Big Thunder Mountain. All right, Big Thunder Mountain achieved. We're heading into Fantasyland, and it's already about 8.15, so we're gonna have to attack this hard. So hopefully the wait times are short. Uh, we're gonna go right into Toontown right after this, so hopefully we can really climb the number right here. Just completed the Toad Pinocchio one two step. I'm beginning to realize very early, we're 30 minutes into this challenge already, every minute is going to count. We're gonna jump on Storybook and then we're gonna get on the teacups and then we're gonna run over into Toontown. This is gonna be a tough one. We're gonna need a lot of luck. We're going to take our first first risk of this challenge, and we're going to be going into Toontown. The reason that's a risk is because Roger Rabbit is down. So we got two, and they're both short, both sitting at five minute waits. Technically, MMRR and the, the Go Coaster. So they're both sitting at five. I could have gone into Tomorrowland. Everything's sitting at five there. It's a little bit of a risky play. I'm, I'm banking on Roger Rabbit to come up here in the next 15 minutes, but we shall see what happens. Toontown, here we come. As we leave Toontown, I can now officially say I've made my first mistake on this challenge. Uh, so while the coaster, while we were in line for the coaster, five minutes, Rogers opened up, Roger, Roger Rabbit opened up, and it jumped to about a 30 minute wait like that. So um, very, very unfortunate. We're gonna roll into Tomorrowland. It's about 9.20. We gotta hit Buzz, Star Tours, and Autopia probably the next 40 minutes. So hopefully we can get lucky and then we're gonna start hitting some single rider. This is gonna get tight. We're seven in, we're off to a good pace, but it's getting crowded. Hold my breath. All right, so things have gotten interesting. Um, the park got really crowded, got off of Buzz and everything ballooned up. So um, we're in line for Autopia right now. About a 15 minute wait, but this thing seems like it's ballooning up too. So everything in the park just kind of spiked. Um, so next hour is gonna be interesting. I'm trying to figure out the best route. Single rider is definitely gonna come into play now. Um, but Star Tours is where I was gonna head. Literally got on Buzz. You guys know Buzz is like a five minute ride. Star Tours was a walk on and then I uh, got off of Buzz and it turned to a 30 minute wait. So uh, we're in a little bit of pickle. Um, hopefully we can get on Autopia and off Autopia rather quick. Um, 
but uh, I'm trying to figure out next play because uh, don't want to go too far behind the eight ball as it is getting very crowded very quick. New plan, we're heading into the galaxy's edge. We'll do smugglers, Winnie the Pooh, and we're gonna have to get on canoes um, to kind of keep up the pace. So, and then I think we gotta leap. We gotta go to DCA. Um, it's the only way at this point we may have a chance. Amazing to say that, only two hours is this challenge. All right, so I said I was only gonna do this if I really, really needed the, the number. Canoes, here we go, canoes. We need it, so we're taking it. No wait, let's jump right on it. Canoes, big check mark, done. Uh, not gonna do that again, <laughs> one timer. Uh, so it's about 11 o'clock, we just passed ride 12 or Traction 12, and we're gonna leap. We're gonna go to DCA, and I think we're gonna have to hit single rider hard. We're gonna go immediately to the pier, I believe. So we're gonna go far, far, far back. And uh, Goofy Sky School, uh, maybe we could get jolly, jumping jellyfish off of the single rider, things like that. Uh, but we're gonna go into DCA, hopefully have a strong 11, 12 o'clock hour, uh, and get kind of back on path. So it's about 11.45 right now. We're gonna get on VP Sky School single rider. Right now we're on pace for 56 attractions. The goal is 55, so we're right on pace. Um, hopefully we get on this one rather quickly. We might go coaster, coaster, and credit coaster might be next. Back to back coasters. Let's slow things down. Jesse's carousel, critter carousel. That's what we're gonna get on right now. Pretty much a walk on. So that's good. We've used two single riders in a row. So, uh, yeah, that's probably going to be the theme here for the next few hours. Keep it going. We're going to jump on Dave. Really, really love this part of the park. We're going to jump on Grizzly. Uh, we're going to use our single rider on that right now. Um, and then hopefully I'm going to pair that with Soaring. That was attraction 19. We're coming up 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 against two o'clock here. Um, crowds have been heavy, 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 heavy. So um, I'm trying to pick up something that's gonna get us something rather quick. Might be Turtle Talk. Might be Mickey's. Uh, but something over here. Maybe we can get lucky with a buddy pass on um, monsters. Uh, but yeah, it is a very crowded day. There are multiple rides that have our weights. Radiator Springs Racers has been pretty much sitting at about 130, 140 minutes uh, since 11. So very busy day, um, working around the crowds, but maybe we can pick up one or two attractions here rather quickly. Uh, that would be great. Um, we'll keep pumping along. You're still coming in. It's great to see you. Now it's time to choose a that was a very needed uh, 20 minute sit down. So I'm happy that happened. Great timing. Uh, we've now hit 20. Um, we're a little bit behind pace, but anything can happen. Uh, we're gonna go do Web Slingers, which has single rider. I don't do this one very often. So we shall see how the single rider goes. No idea. Hopefully it goes quick. Uh, and this is not a, this is a ride I've not done very many times, so excited to do it. Let's go see how it goes. I'm glad to see you guys. What a dancing and singing! 
So we just got off of Little Mermaid. We hurried over here to try and get on uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, um, the Monsters After Dark version, because it's 3.03. And I thought, all right, maybe we get lucky. It's a 75 minute wait at 3.03. It opens at three, so we just missed that. The 75 minute wait, it actually looks like a 75 minute wait. A lot of people online for that. So we're gonna try our best of luck. Monsters has been kind of up and down all day. It's back up. Maybe they're running Buddy Pass. Uh, we'll go grab that, um, and we might back, we might jump back over to Disneyland. I kind of just hope for the best. Look, oh, there's your door. We're almost there, kiddo. It's three thirty. There's currently no ride at DCA that has a wait time under twenty five minutes. Um, there's four over at Disneyland that I'm deeming short ish. Granted, I just remembered something right before I hit record. I was gonna say we're heading to Disneyland, which we probably will do. But I think we've got one minute to get into Turtle Talk. The human tank. Hello, human dudes. It is just before four o'clock. We've just leaped back over to Disneyland. A lot of the rides across the board, a lot of the attractions across the board are busy. There's only four right now that I've circled and said, short, let's go after it. They're pretty wild. Monorail, Small World, Casey Jr. and uh, Tiki Room. Uh, even the carousel has a 15 minute wait. So very busy day. Uh, kind of that trend has continued. And I can kind of see it continuing throughout the night. Um, so we're gonna go attack these four and see where we're at after that. I have no idea where we're going. It's nine, it's uh, 525. The map, I'm trying, I'm studying it and I'm trying to figure out where the gap is, where can I go? But the thing is jumping all the rides. I'm like, okay, we'll go to Jungle Cruise. It's like 15 minutes and then it just balloons to 50. So a lot of that's going on right now. A lot of, uh, a lot of very jumpity wait time. So it's, it's tough. I don't know where we're going to go. I guess whatever ride you see next, that's where we end up going. guys so here's the situation we're gonna head over to way the pool we've just done ride number 30 um, it's 645 we were gonna go to DCA but moments after we recorded we recorded that everything spiked up over at DCA kind of leaving us nowhere to go over there so it's kind of picking and choosing over here what is available I'm um, kind of watching the clock because we're kind of entering into a little bit of a potential danger zone where mathematically the challenge will not become possible. Um, we'll keep an eye on it. But for now, we're going to roll on. We're going to pick up what we can. Uh, Wayne the Pooh being first. And we might jump all the way over to the other side of the park and to Tomorrowland. Uh, but 30 rides up to this point, everything's been different, which is really, really cool. Um, but now we're going to have to start repeating. Uh, so Winnie the Pooh coming next. Tomorrowland probably going to be after that. We may pick up a couple of things from Fantasyland, but unfortunately we're entering into the danger zone of mathematically it may not be possible to head. All right, back into Galaxy's Edge. Smugglers is claiming 10, so we're gonna take that on the general. Let's hope it's 10. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but the play is to go to DCA. So we're going to DCA. We gotta go hit the pier. We gotta go, that's where, that's where it got short. So we gotta go hit the pier and hope for the best. Tomorrowland got busy, Fantasyland got busy. 
It's like 7.25. We've got to go to DCI. It's our only play. All right, it is 8.25. Just got off of uh, just got off of Grizzly. I'm pretty wet. Um, so here's the situation. Uh, 34 rides, tractions, that's what we've hit. We need 21 in three and a half hours. The park is really full. Um, there are very few rides that have wait times under 25 minutes right now. The whole of Fantasyland is 25 or above, except for Small World. Um, Tomorrowland's all above 25. Um, basically all of DCA is in the 30s, uh, except for Grizzly and Mermaid. Everything else has got very long wait times, very surprising. Um, so I think at this point, I think I'm going to call it a day. I don't think I'm going to hit the 21 in three and a half hours. It just seems like such a, it's a lot. It's a lot. I mean, it's almost a ride every 11 minutes. And with this crowd, I don't think this crowd's leaving tonight. Um, usually around 9 o'clock, 9.30, you can start seeing it to die down. But uh, with some of the wait times that we're at, uh, I just don't see that one happening. I'm going to try this challenge again, though. Um, if it was, I mean, this is hard. This is a hard challenge. I think if I would stay at midnight, I'd probably land in the mid-40s. Um, but this is a hard challenge, and uh, I definitely made some user mistakes early on in the day and midday uh, that I do not want to repeat. Um, so some of this is user error, uh, but some of this is, this is just a busy day um, here at Disneyland and at DCA. Um, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Sorry I didn't get this thing done, but I'm going to try this again. Uh, I think I can get this done. I just need a little bit better luck, need a little bit better of a game plan. Uh, Space Mountain being back will help out a lot. Um, but guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button hit that thumb up i appreciate all you guys if you made it this far thank you so much for watching um i'm gonna try this again in a couple weeks probably during the holiday season yeah but thank you guys so much um we'll try this again i'm gonna put some stats at the end of this a lot of a lot of walking today so thank you guys